once more welcome out of the TMS lab and also today we are going to share the fun we had um, working with experimenting with the Raspberry Pi we have it here on the table it's a Raspberry Pi 4 and mounted on that Raspberry Pi is an TFT screen so here are the details of the TFT screen that is mounted on the Raspberry Pi. As you can see, it's a 320 by 240 pixels TFT screen uh, that fits actually the size of the Raspberry Pi. And it's readily available in all kinds of shops that sell these attributes for the Raspberry Pi. And let's now have a look at the code that we prepared for running on this Raspberry Pi. We are here in our Delphi IDE and this is the project that we created. It is actually a Miletus TMS WebCore project. It's a project that um, we will compile to the target uh, Raspberry Pi. Uh, it generates an executable that will be running from the Raspberry Pi. And uh, let's have a look at what the code in this uh, Miletus Raspberry Pi application is actually doing. First snippet that I wanted to highlight is this one here, load Christmas tree. So uh, you can see that here we are calling the Miletus Raspberry Pi memory buffer load from file. So we are actually loading a binary file that holds an image, an image of a uh, Christmas tree that loads it into the an Raspberry Pi memory buffer. This screen, this uh, TFT screen, has a 16-bit color depth per pixel. And the, that means that the pixels are organized RGB uh, like 565. And so this binary file contains the image for the Christmas tree in this uh, binary RGB 565 format. Next, what we are doing is defining in what memory area of the display this image will be loaded. As it is in 240 by 320 pixel screen, we want to fill the entire screen. So we specify here the coordinates 00239319. And then we are going to write the data from the image file to the screen. And for that, we need to set a GPIO pin on the Raspberry Pi. We need to set it to uh, on because that pin controls that data will be written to the memory buffer of the screen. And this here, Miletus Raspberry Pi SPI 1 write mem buffer, this one will write the entire memory buffer to the display screen. Notice that here the interface to the screen is based on SPI, so that is the port the serial port on the um, Raspberry Pi uh, through which we communicate with the screen. Next, what we are going to do is show some snow falling on uh, the image of the Christmas tree. And this is the routine that performs the falling snow on the display screen. As you can see, we have here eight calls that are uh, doing draw snowflake at different um, X positions along the screen. And um, the, uh, this is the vertical coordinate. And as you can see, uh, we are uh, at, uh, it's animating, falling down from the top to uh, the bottom at different X coordinates. As you can see, there are, uh, it's light snowing. We want to see this nice Christmas tree very well. And so uh, we draw here eight uh, snowflakes falling down. Um, and it's a continuous process. If the snowflake is completely at the bottom, it will fall again from the top of the screen. And now let's have a look at the code that performs the drawing of a single snowflake. And here, what you can see is, uh, first of all, uh, that this parameter shift is used. And uh, this is actually a random value uh, that causes the snowflake to slightly move to the left or right. So uh, it uh, jiggles a little bit while it falls down. 
So depending on this uh, shift Boolean parameter. And what happens is um, the next slow snowflake that needs to be drawn is uh, this is performed here by the draw pixel call uh, at some specific X and Y coordinates. And as it's quite obvious, RGB values are 255, 255, 255. So obviously the snow is white. Uh, this is uh, the color that we use for one snowflake that is falling down. Next, what we are doing is uh, grabbing the value, the color of the pixel that will be um, below the uh, snowflake. Um, so that is to ensure that when we have drawn the snowflake and we need to draw the next snowflake that we can restore the color that was underneath uh, the snowflake. As obviously we do not want that the image of the Christmas tree is destroyed by the falling snowflake. So from that memory buffer where we uh, read that image file, we are grabbing the value. And here in this case, it is a uh, two byte value for the 16 bit uh, pixel and we grab it from the memory buffer and uh, here we restore it by drawing that value on the previous snowflake position. And the same applies when um, it is slightly drawn to, um, to the right uh, to have some uh, sideways animation for uh, the snowflake. So here you can see that uh, it's three pixels on uh, the right that um, it is drawn when um, shift is true. So uh, this is the routine uh, that is called from here, start snowing. And so now let's um, have a look at our Raspberry Pi, um, where you can see the single executable application, where you can see the Christmas tree image file, so this uh, binary file. And as you can see, there is another file here involved which is an mp3 file. And this mp3 file will be used to play music while all this is happening. And this is the code that we are using to play the music through the Raspberry Pi. So what we are actually doing is uh, using the Miletus binary data stream, which is a component that gives us access to the local file system on the Raspberry Pi and we read the mp3 file from that local file system into that uh, data stream. We then um, encode this uh, data stream as a base64 string and that enables us to use the TMS WebCore uh, multimedia player component, set it to the URL. It is also configured to uh, autoplay, so that means that um, as soon as this URL is assigned, it will start playing this music. And finally, some more uh, interesting note is that this initialization code for our SPI port on the Raspberry Pi. Here, before opening it, we specify a, cre a frequency. And this frequency will actually control the speed at which the data is moved uh, to over the SPI port. Um, as this is uh, quite a lot of data, uh, 320 by uh, 240 times two bytes for the entire image, we increase the frequency to um, the maximum that is feasible uh, to transfer that uh, image as fast as possible. And so uh, this is the resulting application and by having these uh, files separate and locally on the Raspberry Pi. That means that if you uh, have a nicer Christmas tree or a nicer Christmas song, that you can easily replace it um, by another file and keeping the same executable. So let's um, see this application in action. So we start our uh, Miletus executable here on the Raspberry Pi. You see, Merry Christmas and best wishes for 2022. And you can see on our screen the Christmas tree. And if you have a closer look, uh, you can see the snow falling down 
on the Christmas tree. And meanwhile, the music is uh, playing in the background. So this is the uh, Miletus application we enjoyed creating for you, as we will offer the full source code of this Miletus application for your own uh, experiments and fun and joy. Only thing you need to create this at home is the standard Raspberry Pi 4, the TFT screen that we showed you um, that is also readily available and then the latest version of TMS WebCore that includes um, Miletus that allows you to build Raspberry Pi applications and of course have a lot of fun. With this I wish you a wonderful holiday period, a lot of fun with this code and we look forward to the next year to do way more fun things and um, exciting new developments here at TMS Software. Have a great time and till next time, bye bye.